Honda Odyssey, we were able to get it running with the jump box, but as soon as we disconnect the jump box, it dies. So that normally means that the battery is pretty much out of charge, and it could also mean that the alternator is weak. You want me to disconnect it? Yeah, you're right. So it's still running now. So I guess maybe the battery got charged up. I also had turned all the accessories off. Oh, yeah. So, like the high beams were on and the fan was on full blast. Yeah. Do <laughs> you have a voltmeter? Or is the battery light on? It's not the battery. I mean, it's definitely lights. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. I mean, honestly, man, like with the... the so the battery light is not on. I turn the headlights on. Yep. So I turned the high beams on and it just shut off. I turned the headlights on and then it shut off. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Just don't turn the headlights on. I'll make sure the headlights are off so it'll start. There we go. I made like 600 feet off. 12 6. We got 9. Hell yeah. 8. Can you hold this? Actually, you can't. You're using both your hands. I want to rev it up and. Can you rev it up and see if the um, voltage goes up? Goes up to 14. It might just be a bad battery then. I guess really the thing to do would be to throw in a new battery and then retest the alternator. Because we can't really condemn the alternator with this crapped out battery. What size is that battery? I'll go grab another one. Fucking... 34. 34. So we've got a known good battery we're gonna throw in and then restart the car and check to see if the alternator voltage is higher at idle. Did they upsize it? Oh, there we go. Close enough, right? Yeah. Good enough for government work. Yeah, you got a starter motor for you. All you right. You gotta do it on the line rack. You gotta do it the truck rack. I might just do it where it sits, unless okay. something else needs to go there. Cool. All right, I'll crank it up. So it's on. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the headlights and the blower motor and we'll check and see what the uh, volt alternator voltage is sitting at. I'll do the wipers as well. What's it sitting at? 12? 12. Let me uh, turn the wipers off and see where it goes. You don't need wipers. 13. It's oh, just yeah. bouncing all over. Can you hold it right here? I'll rev it up a little bit and we'll see. I'll probably shoot up to 14. Oh. It sounds terrible. Where's the supercharger at?
I'm gonna say. I had the um, blower motor turned on full blast as well as the high beams. Okay. I mean, it did a good job of not dipping below the well. <laughs> but it didn't go much higher at all. Yeah. I think that voltage regulator just being soaked in oil. Yeah. Can you turn it off? Well, it is leaking oil like, all over the alternator. The getting down the speaker wire over there. I was wondering if there's like some... So the original battery resting voltage... 10.3... I guess we've got to charge this one up and then retest it. Yeah. That battery lo does look pretty new. So I'd say at this point the verdict is to recharge the battery and it really does need to have the oil leaks fixed and most likely that alternator's failing from all of the oil that's been leaking all over it.